Kane, could you think of anywhere better to be? I know, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? Fantastic. This is actually my job, which is pretty cool. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Tell us how exciting is this judge's house? It's cool. I know, it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. Obviously, it's a, it's a big thing to be asked to do. I've done it before with Louis um, years ago, but it's, it's not as nice, I think, as, as here, obviously. It's I bet you incredible. never got somewhere nice like this. Where were you the last time? Uh, I was in, actually, Castle Leslie in um, Monaghan, is it? Yes. Yeah, so a haunted castle compared to... Sa Saint Tropez. I'd pick this any day. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. And what about your other judges, Nicole? Have you met her before? She's a lovely I, girl. She's lovely, actually. I sat beside her on the flight. And we had a good chat for a couple of hours, but yeah, she's uh, she's lovely. I met her a couple of times, obviously, with the old Saints years ago. Um, yeah, she's she's a really nice girl. Really, really cool. And what about the boys? How how tough is their job? What advice can you give them now today? I think you know, if, it's going to be very nerve wracking for them. Obviously, um, you know, it's it's probably the biggest day of their life today. Um, and it's just, you know, try and relax and try and just sing as best you can. It's, it's one of those things you can't really, you know, that's what I said to him when I went down to him. I was like, just, you know, you're here for a reason. So you're, you're picked to be here because you're good singers. Yeah. Um, so just keep doing what you're doing and, and just sing, you know, just enjoy it and sing. And, but they're going to be nervous. They're going to be absolutely like, you know, I can imagine. I, I remember what it was like years that's ago. What I was going to say, can you feel for them? Oh, totally. Like, you know, even when you go on the X Factor, big shows like that, you do have nerves. But I think if, if you don't have nerves to some extent or anxiety, you know, you're not human. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's, I think sometimes it, it, for me, it makes me focus more. If I'm excited about something or a bit nervous, I think I'm like, right, let's do this. And that's what they need to do. They just need to give it a great performance. Yeah, but some of them are so young. It's so tough, isn't it? I, and it of course, is. looking at you, they, you, they've been a fan of yours and Louis and Nicole. So it's kind of like daunting for them. It is, yeah. It's very daunting. Um, um, in, in general, I think the whole thing, they're, they're, on, you know, they're on the X Factor, it's the biggest show on television. Um, and it's, it is literally the biggest day of their life, probably. This, this is what they've been dreaming about their whole life. Um, and if they do a bad audition, it could cost them their place, you know. And it's one of those things, you just got to get out there and sing it, and the best people will go through. Simple as. So who do you think is going to be the toughest judge amongst you, like... Uh, mentor, should I say? I think, I think Nicole, actually, yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, we were chatting about it earlier on, yeah, and she's like, you know... Unless it's brilliant, I won't like them, you know. And she's, I, she's just been honest, I suppose, or whatever. But yeah, I think Louis would be fairly direct. Louis's fairly straight as well. Like he'll, he'll kind of. Yeah, Nicole has said. Nicole Scherzinger has said about him that he's kind of mean sometimes because he's a manager and he's just kind of cuts people off. Where as an artist, you probably I'm feel a little. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest, everybody. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it is. Uh, he is. He's very honest, and he's very. You know, he's the one person that tells me. No, and you're wrong, you know, and I think that's why he's, you know, one of the reasons he's my manager, because he's, he's very, very straight, he's very true to what he believes in, um, and if somebody isn't up to the, you know, up to the, up to the task, he'll tell them, yeah. um, but I think that's good, though, I think it's good to have, you know, it's good to get a get, get kick in the arse, whatever, you know, when you need it the most, but yeah, he's definitely going to be very straight, I think, he always is. Do you have a favourite so far? You won't tell us, but do you have one? No, I don't know any of them actually so far. I, I haven't heard any of them sing. The, the guy with the, um, that hasn't washed his hair in 10 months or something, yes. oh, I saw his audition and he was very good, but I haven't seen the rest of them, so it'll be interesting to see what they're like. I believe his hairdresser is the same hairdresser as you. Yeah, it's uh, half a can of hairspray. <laughs> Always works, you know. And a good, a good hairdresser, isn't that right, Ross? <laughs> do you think the boys could win it this year? Um, I don't know. The girls, I, I've seen some of the girls audition. Um, I saw that girl, Tamara. She yes. was brilliant at the weekend. Sam Bailey. Yeah, the other girl as well. Yeah, both of them are excellent. So I don't know. You know, it's it's one of those things. It's you know sometimes like people come out of the woodwork that that you don't think are going to win it and they win it. You know, so it's you know if if they give a good performance and it's all about picking the right song too as well. You know that can really change people's opinions. So I think uh, yeah they'll have a good shot. You know, some great singers down there. So you know why not? Shane, I wish you the best and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Cheers, Glenda.